Yo guys, your favorite Kage, Enigma Kage, bringing you yet another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hope you stick around, watch a few of my videos, and hey, maybe you'll subscribe today. So patch 25 has went live, and there's quite a bit to talk about, especially involving the premium shop. I will go over the shop in total, the new emotes, and I'll talk about the new moves added. So stick around for that. Before we begin, let's get this video to 100 likes. 100 likes greatly helps the videos in more ways than you guys can even imagine. Let's continue to strive forward. We're on our way to 12K. Our main goal is 20K, but you know, we'll get there eventually. So let's just jump right on in. Jump Force, or rather Spike Chonsoft, has had Patch 25 in the Steam database locked up for several months and we as a community were dying to see what's in store for us like most we assumed it was jump force season three but as of today majority of the mc release files has been released to the public and they are now working on what looks like to be two different development files that could be jump force season three listen mc release files has been character files since season one the thing is, Spike Chonsoft has been carelessly leaving all their data out there for the data miners to easily sweep up. This time around, I think they're actually holding off on the files and we will have to wait for an official announcement since both development one and two is still currently locked up in the depots. No, this isn't the end of season three speculation, simply because DLC season two has something similar going on when we received files back in December 2019. So please hang on just a bit more. I'm telling you this isn't the end, but rather the beginning of the devs having to launch new projects since everything is now in the premium shops. What's new so far? Okay, now when you log in, you will be hit with the notice board from the rip. So whatever they got going on, it'll hit you right in the mouth as soon as you log in. You now have access to the rewards desk from the pause menu. So yes, no more having to run across the floor just to pick up your rewards from the desk. I think that's pretty cool. I mean, it shows how useless the lobby really is. Like, come on. If I can access everything with this one click of a button, there's no need for me to have a lobby. The premium shop has been officially updated. Everything we could have earned previously before Phaeton's outfit is now available for purchase with Jump Force medals. They still haven't given us a way to earn the medals without microtransactions yet, so I guess we gotta wait a little bit more for that. The added purchasable items in the premium shop, such as Element 2 boosts and Resistance boosts for quests and missions only. They've added new abilities to the game, which isn't the biggest news. The bigger news is that they will be experimenting with that tab, possibly adding exclusive moves for purchase, something I predicted when the shop first was announced. The moves they've added to the lineup goes as follows. The 1080 pound Phoenix, Firestyle Dragon Flame Song, 100 Crack Fist, AP Shot Auto Cannon, Godspeed, the Getsuka Zero move, and the newly added Solar Flare Attack. So these moves are supposedly buffed and will consume more gauge if connected. The moves that have the word cost down will cost less gauge and do less damage. I don't know why you would even want to buy something that does less damage unless you just want to look cool. Now I purchased a 1080 pound cannon and since side by side comparisons I don't see a difference other than the gauges so I don't know if it's something with my J skills that I have to you know unleash more damage but as of right now it ain't doing nothing different to me. There are three moves added that does not appear in the shop, but my guy Josu hooked me up with one of them. Two of them I'm not gonna show are Toshiro's Ice Attack and Shoto's Three, because we already know what they look like. However, I don't know about y'all, but this move looks very similar to Asta's Black Slash Attack. Let me know in the comment section if it adds up to you. Moving on to the outfit section of the premium shop, it appears that everything we previously could have earned in the shop is ready for our purchase. They added a few new ones quietly, such as Misa's dress, a variation of Genkai's gi, and Toga's top. On the men's side, they've added classic Gon's outfit, like I thought, variation of outfits such as All Might and Deku, but the real gems come in the form of accessories. The same thing applies, wigs we could have earned through events are now added, 
They've added these summer inner tubes for people who want to be goofy. Master Roshi's turtle shell. Genkai's hat and wig. Different wings. A comb back accessory. A jetpack. And the interesting thing, they've added a bunch of different Japanese styles masks, such as Foxes and Tangle. Hmm, are y'all hinting at Demon Slayer content soon? <laughs> they've added Netsuro's wig and beard. I didn't see that coming at all, I'm not gonna lie. That might count him out, however, it's not an outfit. A bunch of other cool additions that should spice up your CAC lineup as well. Finally, we get to the emotes. Y'all know I got y'all with this one. I brought them so you don't have to. They've added six new emotes representing characters such as Ryo and Ralph from Fist of the North Star. I will show them and label them below, and that's all we have for now. Anything Spike Tron stuff adds from now on is season three related. Once again, remember, they just added the new purchasable items and a microtransaction ability shop. There's no way they're gonna end the game right now when they just added this in. So stop looking at it as the end, but rather the beginning of them milking us for Jump Force medals. If you found this video informative, please drop a like and definitely share it to a friend. And as always, I'm Enigma, signing off. Peace, guys.